morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today is Thursday the 21st of January and I thought I would do a wee vlog today. It is currently 20 to 8 and Abby's getting organised for school and I'm getting organised to take her to school. Yes, homeschooling is still going on. However, Abby's been really worried about the fact that we've got no decent internet. She's worried that she might be falling behind and there's things that she needs to talk to her teachers about and things like that. So she spoke to the school and given our circumstances, they have agreed to let her go in two days a week to the hub. So that is fantastic news. It's really good of them to do that. They've cleared it with the council and um, it's, it is really good of them. It's because of exceptional circumstances that she's getting to do it. I don't think they would do it for anybody, but um, that is really good news because I've been stressing out about it. If it wasn't for the fact that she's in fifth year and doing her hires, it wouldn't be so bad, but this is a really important year for her. So we don't know if school transport is running or not, we don't think so. So I said that I would take her in this morning because I mean to get some bits from Asda anyway, some essential top up bits. So I thought I can drop her off and then go to Asda and that way I'm not doing extra trips that I don't need to. And while she's there she can find out if school transport is on, if so she can get the school bus back, if not she can just get the normal bus back. Um, if she was to get the normal bus to school she would need to leave an hour early and get there an hour early, so um, that's why I said I would take her. Anyway, that's the plan for today. Brooke will be staying here, she'll still be homeschooling as normal. My dad will be here and she's fine in the morning because she always has a Google Meet at half past nine with her teacher and her class just to discuss the work that they're doing that day. So she will get on with that, she's got a good wee routine in the morning now. So that is that. I'm going to go and get on with some bits and pieces of housework until it is time to go and I'll come back to you in a wee while. Right, it is quarter past nine. We are at Asda. There's Granny Annie. We dropped Abby off at school, no bother. Went and got petrol and we're now at Asda. Ab uh, Abby, Granny Annie's with me to help me because I can't push the trolley myself and wheel myself. So that's why we're both here and Granny Annie's needing some bits as well. So we're going to pop in here now and get some little bits and pieces and when I get home I'll show you what I've picked up. See you in a wee while. Bye y'all. Bye y'all. I'm home. It's 25 to 12. I'm home. We ended up going into B&M's as well. My mum was needing, uh, Granny Annie was needing some cleaning stuff and toothpaste so we thought well why not. So I am going to make a hot chocolate. I've not had any coffee or anything so I've had absolutely nothing to eat or drink other than Pepsi Max or water since half past four last night and it's now 25 to 12. So I'm starving and we got a nice hot chocolate um, from B&M so I'm going to make that, unpack the stuff and then I'll show you what we got. Right, I will quickly show you what I got from Asda first. Got the Costa Coffee Skinny Latte for my mum for the Dolce Gusto machine. They are 47 calories per serving. Um, she's had the skinny latte for the Tassimo and really likes it, so she wanted to try this one. We also got the Maltesers hot chocolate for Dolce Gusto, which is 67 calories for a mug. Brill, can't wait to try that. I got a bottle of Raspberry Pepsi Max. Bear in mind, this was just a quick top up. I had some light custard the other day and thought, oh, I really enjoyed it, but it was a big tin, so I thought I would prefer to get the small cartons and that way it's more portion controlled because I could quite easily eat a whole tin. So I got, they were doing, um, they were 59 pence each or two for, uh, or five for two pound. So we got five between us. I got a light Devon custard and a light rice pudding and my mum got a light custard and two light rice puddings. And calorie wise, these are 117 for the custard and 116 for the rice, which isn't too bad. I'm not calorie counting. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm just trying to be careful. I'm trying to be healthier. I got these for the puppies. They were needing more of those things. 
and look, I saw on Hey Bale's, Rachel's channel that Quavers have brought the flavours out again so I got a bag of prawn cocktail and a bag of salt and vinegar and I can't wait to get stuck into them 83 calories and 84 calories a pack now I saw these on Tracy's channel yesterday in her top up shop and thought oh that would be good just for a wee chocolate fix so I got the Muller Light Chocolate Fix Belgian Milk Chocolate with Mint and these are 97 calories a pot and I also got the caramel and chocolate one and these are 69 calories a pot 69 dude so um, I thought yeah they'll be ideal because sometimes at night I want to have something else to eat even although I'm not overly hungry because with my intermittent fasting um, I know that it's going to be 16 hours basically till I have anything else so sometimes I like to finish with just a wee sweet thing and they will be ideal I got a couple of soups because I've been making my own homemade soup which is great but to be honest these were on a deal I think it was a £1.30 or something per tub and I thought it would cost me that to buy the stuff and make it anyway and then I've not got the hassle of cleaning the soup maker after it so I've got a chicken and rice soup and a lentil soup they'll be perfect for lunches now although I'm eating healthy a Saturday is my day off so I'm not going to go crazy, but I'm not really going to worry about eating too healthy. So I like a nice easy dinner on a Saturday. So I've got a massive big beef lasagna that me, Jack and Abby can have, along with a garlic pizza bread book. We'll have some of that as well. And I love these bake-at-home baguettes. It only takes 10 minutes in the oven, you've got a nice crispy baguette. So... Rather than just having to have garlic bread with it, we can have normal bread as well, crusty bread. And I love these because they stay in the cupboard for ages. The best before date is 10th of March. So we can have one on Saturday and keep the other one for next week maybe. Abby was wanting some barbecue sauce. She's been making like chicken wraps and things um, while she's homeschooling and she fancied barbecue sauce with it. And... I got some bananas because I'm really in the mood for bananas now that I'm not keto. So that was everything that I got from Asda. I'll show you B&M now. Right, so in B&M's we got more hot chocolate. <laughs> we got Galaxy Light low sugar hot chocolate pods. They're only 36 calories for a hot chocolate. You just can't complain at that. We've not tried that one yet, so I don't know what it's like. However, we have just tried the Galaxy Orange Hot Chocolate Pods. Now that's 69 calories for a mug. 69, dude. And look at it. It is really, really nice. Delicious. I actually would rather have that than like your um, options type. Are you answering that? Yes. I also saw these on another channel. I think it was maybe Rachel as well. Hey Bales. And it's a small... Um, Snickers and Mars and it's 95 calories for a Mars and 99 calories for a Snickers and yeah they're small but they're portion controlled and that is ideal getting a Mars bar for under under 100 calories I'm going to open it and see just how small they are because you get 10 in a pack so they must be quite small hold on yeah so they're quite small they look a bit like a Twix finger but at the end of the day you're getting a Mars bar taste a proper Mars bar taste and that is going to be fab. I think it was one ninety nine or something for a pack of 10, which again isn't bad, 20 pence Mars bar. Now for Saturday, when, we're, when I'm having my day off, I got some mini eggs for me and the girls. So I got a pack of Reese's mini eggs, which will look amazing, but Brooke's already bagged these. And then Abby can choose between the Terry's chocolate orange mini eggs and the mini cream eggs so they were all either a pound or less uh, for a bag which isn't too bad and yeah that'll be good Jack's working so me and the girls will have a bag of them each I also got another one of these because they're so good the dairy milk bunny with the orange mousse inside they're so nice oh that'll be Granny Annie's phone again Sorry. Um, I was looking for um, Tracy she was on her channel yesterday the white Malteser bunnies and the chocolate orange Malteser bunnies but I couldn't find them in Asda or B&M I was most annoyed <laughs> um, I think it was Tesco that she got them 
And finally, I got some more of the little mini custards, but this time it's they're even smaller. And it's the banana one, 30% less sugar, and these are 95 calories for a pot. Oh no, does that say for two pots? It is, look. Oh, you found a good thing? Yeah, the banana custard is 95 calories for two pots. For a 110 gram portion, because each pot's 55 grams. So 95 calories for two pots. That's wow. not bad. That's good. I never got them. And I like the banana. Oh, I like good. banana flavoured things. So yeah, that's excellent. So that's everything that I got. Um, what? What are you wanting? Are you wanting a... I've not even said it yet. Are you wanting a... Chicken wing? <gasps> Who wants a chicken wing? Come on then, show me. Where are they? Right, Willa. Good girl. Oh, good boy. We Molly. Good girl. And one for Clyde. Good boy. Oh, this was the other thing that I got. Hold on. This was the other thing that we got in Asda. The three ba baby body suits for £3.25. And we got it in look like, zero to three months. Um, a family friend has just had a wee baby girl the other day called Brooke, and I am making a handmade card for her. And I thought I would use my Cricut to try to personalise the little baby vests. So I will let you see it if I manage to get it done. The card's almost done. I've got everything cut out, ready just to put it all together. I was hoping to get that done today, but it depends how long Brooke takes finishing her work. Um, but Brooke was saying that these Malteser pods are lovely. She says it actually tastes like Malteser. So, bab. Right, so I'll head off just now and I'll come back to you in a wee while. I might have some soup actually. I made some lentil soup yesterday. So I might have that now or in about half an hour or so because I'm a wee bit full after my hot chocolate. Right, I'll catch up with you soon. Right, it's 20 to 1, I'm going to have my lunch now, so I've got my homemade lentil soup that I made yesterday and I've no ham left so I'm going to be dipping some chicken breast slices in it today instead of ham. That will be lunch, Brooke's having her lunch as well before she gets back to work. Um, Brooke's got extra work to do from yesterday because the internet gave up on her yesterday afternoon so she wasn't able to get all of her work finished so she's got extra to do today unfortunately. But we're going to have some lunch first. Look who I'm allowed to vlog as long as she's got her mask on. And my cape. And her cape. She's... My techno blade cape. Your techno blade cape. Yeah. Oh, you got a name right. So what, what is your character name then? What? What's your character name? My skeleton mask. What? My skeleton mask. Your skeleton mask, yeah. What, what's your name when you're like that? What's like a techno blade because... Technoblade? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's your TikTok persona now, isn't it? Your mask. And it was just a plain aluminous mask and Brooke paper mache it and painted it all. It's really cool. <laughs> it's very flowy. It's very flowy, yes it is. Um, having a wee lie down just now and the puppies are beside me. Ranik was on the bed beside me as well but I think that was my Amazon delivery that just arrived and he went nuts. Oh, Clyde. Oh, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> so that's Brooke finished her schooling for today, isn't it? You're going to do a TikTok, okay. That girl and her TikToks. Hey puppies, yeah I think that was my Amazon delivery that's just arrived, it's stuff for my cricket but I'll show you in a wee while. Once I get out of my bed I'm feeling a bit yucky after having my soup, the soup was nice but I think I've maybe eaten too much, I'm feeling a bit bleh. So I'm having a wee lie down for an hour and then I'll get up shortly. So I'll see you soon. Hey Clyde. <laughs> It is half past three. I've came back through because I was starting to fall asleep <laughs> and it's time to start getting dinner and things organised. 
thought I'd just quickly show you what I got from Amazon. Like I said earlier, it's for my Cricut. I got the heat press mat for doing iron-on vinyl for like t-shirts and things like that. Um, I can't afford to get the easy press just now, which is like their fancy heat pressing ma machine thing. Um, so I am going to be using an iron, but I thought the heat press mat should probably help. And I also got the Teflon sheets to go with it as well, because I thought if I'm using an iron, I don't want it to stick. So there's a four pack. That's a four pack. I take it there must be two in each one. So that was all I got from Amazon. Nothing very exciting. But I'm just going to get dinner organised. I'll show you what I'm making tonight. Right, so for Jack and Abby, I've got this Chinese style stir fry kit. It's just chicken with loads of peppers and some other veg there and a Chinese style sauce. And I've got a few mushrooms there that needs used up. So I'll add them in and I'll add this onion in as well. And I'm going to make some rice with them, boil in the bag because that way I'm not going to mess it up. And um, these crispy potato slices need used up today as well. So I'm going to put them on and Abby and Jack can have a few of them with their stir fry and rice. And Brooke can also have some of them with her burger. I'm not in the mood for stir fry at all. Like I said, I'm just not feeling great at all today. So I did have one of those little Mars bars earlier when I... Got, came through out my bed I thought maybe I'm needing a bit of a, a sugar rush or something and I'm feeling a wee bit better since I had it to be honest and I have to say for being tiny it was the perfect amount because you got the taste without being sick of it anyway I digress again so I'm going to make this for Jack and Abby I am not going to have anything just now if I'm hungry later I've got a Weight Watcher ready meal that I can make or I might just have some custard and a fibre one bar or something like that Anyway, I'm going to get on with making this and sort the dog's dinner and then I'll come back to you in a wee while. Right, so there is Brooke's dinner ready. She's got a burger and some of the... Oh! Well, I'll get that. will be hot. Yeah, see? It'll be hot, greedy girl. She's so greedy. Look! <laughs> she's so greedy, she's prepared to burn her tongue. Um, yes, so I'll give Brooke another one of these now. <laughs> She's got a burger and the crispy potato slices. Put it oh, over there so the dog don't. I've not burnt it, I've just lightly toasted the roll. <clears throat> right, I'm going to plate up Abby and Jack's now. Yeah. This is why I don't get loose in the kitchen very often. <laughs> Look at the mess! And that's for boiling the bag rice. I managed to split the bag open and spill the rice everywhere. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> Right, so there's Abby's. She's got the smaller amount of rice because half of hers is still on the worktop waiting to be cleaned um, with some of the stir fried chicken and some potato slices and Jack has got a full pack of rice plus some of Abby's that went flying onto his plate. Um, the stir fried chicken, he's got all the mushrooms in his because Abby doesn't like mushrooms and potato slices as well. So. That's their dinner. I don't know if I'm going to have anything. I might just have some cake and custard later, but I'll come back to you when I'm having something. Puppies are enjoying theirs now. Isn't that good puppies? They've got beef and tripe tonight. Greedy Guts is always finished first and then she hovers about to see if she can get anything else. <laughs> Look at her. It's like, oh, I'll go and see if Brooke's got any food. Brooke's not eating hers yet. Well, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So there is Brooke in her full techno blade costume. Let's see the sword from the proper side. Yay, so she made the sword and the crown. Let's see the crown. Yay, and the mask. Well done. Cool, looking good. Right, it's quarter past five and I'm actually hungry now. So I normally don't eat past this time um, because I do intermittent fasting. But I'm going to listen to my body and my body's saying, feed me. So I'm going to feed it. I'm going to have this Bait Watchers um, chicken tikka masala and basmati rice. Or is it WW now it's called, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to shove this in the microwave and have this. I'm not sure if I'll like it or not, but we'll give it a go. It doesn't look too bad. We'll see what it tastes like. <laughs> well, I think you can tell I enjoyed that. <laughs> it was actually a lot nicer than I expected. Could have been doing with a nice wee garlic naan to 
soak up some of the sauce, but it was still very nice nonetheless. So it's quarter to six now. I don't think I'll be eating anything else tonight. I'm just going to go and settle myself down in front of the telly for the night. So I will end the vlog here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not sure how good it's going to be till I edit it, but yeah. Hopefully you'll have enjoyed seeing a, a little mini Asda and B&M haul, if nothing else. So I'm going to head off now and I will see you in our next video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.